Hey guys, and welcome to another short video looking at using some isotope tools. Now, what we're going to do today is use Isotope's tonal balance plugin when uh, working on the EQ side of mastering. So what I've got is two different tracks that I mixed. One I was pretty happy with, the other one was a bit of a rush and I'm not very happy with. But what we're going to do is use tonal balance to show me what areas against the references in tonal balance uh, and EQ directly from there. So what I've done on each of these is load up ozone and tonal balance after it. Uh, so you've got to put it after it because then the changes in ozone will affect it. So we'll open up the tonal balance on this first song. I'm just going to go to a section. Now this is kind of country. Now you've got to take into account the instrumentation. For this doesn't have drums or bass. So I'm going to ignore a bit of the low end area and some of the high end because uh, those instruments aren't there. So it shouldn't have as much high end and low, but we're still going to use the country side. So I'm going to press play. Hey. Now, if you can hear as well as see, it looks like we've got too much highs, not enough high mids and too much low mids. Now we can go into the fine control and this gives a much more detailed. So if we play it again, you can see the high mids here are too high, but it's very low in this 400, 4,000 to 6,000 range. And this high is about 10,000 too high, general mids. So what we're gonna do is just EQ until those curves look good and then do a bit of an AB. Again. Okay, so we can enable it, disable it. So straight away, just by using the tonal balance controls visual aspect, I feel like that's a bit of a warmer mix. Uh, so you know, it could do with a lot more work and you can do some other things, maybe some DSing on that vocal in the master, maybe a bit of master rebalance. But straight away, just using the EQ and using that tonal balance control, it's got me in the ballpark. Now we're going to do it for this next song just to show how it works on a different song. Now this does have drums and bass, but it's a bit of samples. And like I said, I'm very unhappy with how it sounds. So might have to be a bit more extreme here. So we're opening up Ozone 9, uh, sorry, Tonal balance, I've opened up Ozone 9, let me close that. Uh, so, and we'll play this one. I don't know why and just dive straight in.
So that's before. And that is after. So it's not there yet, but it already sounds better to my ears. It is that percussion isn't sounding as harsh. The vocals aren't sounding as harsh. Uh, so basically that is using tonal balance control to help start with your mastering efforts. Um, so it is great on a mix too. So what you can do then, if I'd put that on the mix, it can tell me what areas and I might be able to just maybe adjust the mids and the vocals a bit, adjust the percussion and it'll be a better overall um, sound rather than relying on mastering to fix these issues. But it's great in mastering too, especially if you can't go back to the mix, just to give you a visual representation of what you might need to go into, especially for those who are just starting off in mastering or you're mastering in a genre you're not so familiar with uh, because with different genres, you're different amounts of EQ uh, frequency response. So basically, you know, with hip hop, you've got a lot of highs, a lot of lows. With a lot more pop stuff, you've got a little bit more mids, but there's a lot of hip hop influence pop at the moment. So you might be better looking at the hip hop side of it. So thanks again. Check out my other videos. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.